Well, I'm here at Glen Eagles in Scotland, which has been the site of one of the G8 summits recently, at which one of the issues was climate change. And I'm here with Stagecoach, which is a highly innovative company, a bus and rail company, looking at issues of sustainability in its own work. And one of the interesting schemes they've been piloting is one using biodiesel in Fife. But it's biodiesel with a difference. Most biodiesel is made from uh, biological sources, grain and other things like that, and it's new oil which is converted for use in engines. But this biodiesel project is second-hand diesel, it's used diesel, uh, and it's actually come from cooking oil. This, uh, this uh, fuel has been created from uh, small amounts of cooking oil that's been collected from right across Fife from people's homes, taken in small bottles and taken to places where it's going to be collected and cashed in for 20 pence vouchers which can then be used as credits against uh, future bus travel. So there are eight buses in five that are running on cooking oil. Cooking oil from hotels, cooking oil from restaurants, cooking oil from any source you like. And because it's cooking oil, old cooking oil, rather than grain being used uh, to uh, convert it to fuel or soybean oil converted into fuel, there is no competition with the food chain, there is no uh, inflationary element in terms of food prices, and it's a truly sustainable solution. Could it be rolled out more widely? Yes, it could. Right across five hundred Thousands of children and parents and others are collecting this resource which is available right across the UK and uh, could be used to power a significant number of buses. Well, it won't solve the entire global warming problem but it's a small step, a creative step, towards a worldwide climate solution. At the same time, Stagecoach is using other technologies, for instance, to recycle between 50 and 75 percent of all the water used in the washing facilities for its trains. Uh, in addition to that, they are computer controlling the temperatures in their own uh, uh, marshalling yards and repair areas undercover, where computer technology is anticipating the heat required and reducing their energy uh, by uh, about 35 to 40 percent. And in addition to that, they're using geothermal heating systems for one of their own uh, facilities where the pipes under the earth are sucking heat out of the earth at a relatively low temperature, which is boosted to 35 degrees for uh, general underfloor heating and 65 degrees for hot water and other things like that. So, Stagecoach is just one example of the ways in which companies are innovating creatively radically thinking about tomorrow to be a more sustainable kind of business for the future. And the cost, well, it's pretty negligible really because many of these things pay for themselves. The future, it's there for the asking. Take hold of the future, or the future will take hold of you. And in business are all the answers that we need to tackle global warming for the future.